to problem 1230 from the fundamentals of chapter 12. This, this chapter, uh, sorry, this problem, uh, we take it a little step further, right? They don't give us the um, radius of curvature. They give us the equation of this uh, curve, okay? And what we have to do in order to find the radius of curvature, which is one of the things they introduced in this chapter, is um, by calculating it through some um, some uh, some some calculus, okay. So we 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 we're given this equation, right? I think it's uh, three halves divided by uh, dy. Right, and if, yeah, so that's it. And then the absolute, it's the absolute. Um, of it. Sorry, uh, the absolute value of dy dx squared. Sorry, I had it crooked before. Okay, and then to get the to get the direction of this, um, I guess of this. Um, to get the angle that the velocity or acceleration makes um, with the curvature, uh, we're given this other formula, which is actually it's just tan theta dy dx. Okay, think of this as rise, you know, rise over the run. Right, so similar to you know, typically in, uh, when we do this, uh, we do the y component, which is the rise, divided by the x component of the vector, which is the x. Okay, and that'll give us some angle uh, theta of uh, you know for for whatever direction um, uh, the acceleration is going to be making. All right, so now let's let's get into this problem. So. First and foremost, let's see. So we have uh, when x equals 10 feet, the crate has a speed of 20 feet per second. I'll say, so they're telling you that x equals 10 feet. My velocity, the speed is 20 feet per second, um, which is increasing at, so they tell you the acceleration as well, which is. So it's uh, the tangential component, six feet per second squared. Okay. Uh, determine the direction of the crate velocity uh, and the magnitude of the crate acceleration at this instant. Okay. So the direction of the crate's velocity, right? So go back to this, and the magnitude of the crate's acceleration at this instant. All right. So in order to do that, we need to first find the, you know, because we're we're given a t already at six feet per second squared, right? So we got to find a n, which is going to be v squared over rho. Okay. So let's do that first. So let's do actually let's do some red. Okay. So let's calculate rho first. So this is one plus dy dx, which y over here is uh, x squared over 24. So, um, you know, let, actually, you know, before I do this, let's let's just do it in steps. dy dx is going to be 2x over 24, which is x over 12. And then another derivative is 1 over 12, okay? We can just plug that in now. So 1 plus x over 12 squared over 3 halves divided by, uh, that's just going to be 1 12. Right. Okay. Every, hopefully everyone's with me right there. Okay. Now, when we we're trying to calculate this row at x equals 10 feet. Right, so now we're gonna, I guess we can say, let's evaluate all this at x equals 10 feet. All right, which means one plus 
10 over 12 squared to the 3 halves divided by 1 12. Okay? When we crunch these numbers, crunch them again. When we crunch the numbers, uh, we get 26.47 feet. Okay, so that is our radius of curvature at x equals, you know, where, however the circle is, we know that the radius of curvature is 26.47 feet at that instant of time, at x equals 10 feet. Okay, and now um, we can calculate the normal component of acceleration at that point because we know the velocity at x equals 10 feet is 20. Okay, oh my goodness. And uh, let's, let's do that. So 20 squared divided by rho, which is 26.47. Okay. Um, this, this will give us 15.11 feet per second squared. Okay. And then, uh, I guess to get the magnitude, right? To get the magnitude of this acceleration, we're going to do uh, AT squared. So we're going to do 6 squared plus 15.11 squared. Okay, which then gives us an acceleration of 16.26 feet per second squared. Okay, and now for the direction of the velocity, we have, uh, you know, we can kind of tell, you know, it's going to be whatever angle we get, we know it's going to be this angle right here. Okay. Uh, so let's do that. So theta is inverse tan dy dx, which is over here, x over 12 but at x equals 10 feet, so 10 over 12, okay? And when we do that, we get 39.8 degrees. 39.8 degrees, so we have our angle of the direction of the velocity, okay? And then we have our acceleration, the magnitude of our acceleration right here, all right? So, you know, this is not something you want to just memorize, right? I mean, if you memorize it, good for you. Um, it'll save you time. But, you know, this, sorry, I guess it's most, uh, this equation. You know, it's something that if you have a cheat sheet, you can just bring it with you and just write it there, right? Um, the kinematic equations are something that you shouldn't memorize either, but you should know where they come from. And then... Um, once you know where they come from, you don't have to memorize those, okay? Everything comes from, you know, derivatives with respect to time, okay? And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. We have our acceleration, our direction of velocity, right? And, um, and that's it. All right, guys, I uh, hope this problem helped you guys out. And uh, if you have questions, comments, concerns, just leave the message down below and... Um, don't forget to like and follow. Thanks, guys.